Why Tahara? I think Tahara was a group of, um, I guess, different people, um, similar backgrounds but diverse experiences. I just thought that something could be done. Um, we could do more um, within the Ummah and as opposed to individually trying to do things, it was better if we could put those efforts together collectively. Um, this particular exercise, one of the one of the things we've seen is that Muslims are significantly more disadvantaged and how can we help even within our little spheres of influence, like what can we do to make things better. So we've thought that a program like this in terms of pushing people above the poverty line in however little it can be was really important. But hopefully for us this is really doing this on a much larger scale and making significant impact such that people can actually um, um, live beyond um, hand to mouth. Today we've seen a lot of uh, very interesting business ideas. Uh, we've seen a lot of um, people with a high level of entrepreneurial energy uh, and we believe that uh, th this is exactly uh, what we hoped to see. Uh, people with great ideas, with energy, with integrity, but for whom just uh, the shortage of capital has been the uh, the major reason why they have not been able to uh, sort of realize their dreams uh, and this is exactly what we were hoping to see to be able to provide them uh, that capital uh, which let's be honest is not a lot of money in, in absolute terms but can make a huge difference uh, to, to, their, to their lives uh, because it enables them to actually um, you know sort of like develop businesses, run their own businesses and also become very active uh, economic agents themselves and hopefully uh, down the road be able to in turn contribute uh, also economically to society. Yeah personally I've been very impressed with um, the quality of the applicants that I've seen today. Um, I think that um, even before we started this, I've always believed um, in, the, in the power of Nigerian youth, um, in the doggedness and the smartness um, of the youths in Nigeria. And, you know, today's exercise have really been a confirmation to, to that. I've seen people you know, doing different things, trying to create new businesses uh, where there was none, either in agribusiness um, you know, sector or even in the education sector, um, or even in just even fast-moving consumer goods sector. The initiative is okay and in fantastic. I've never come across of this in this initiative before. How do I decide? Um, what we do is we've been given a very helpful questionnaire, and we were also um, uh, there was a brief before we started the interviews. And for me personally, what I try and do is I try and assess the um, applicant's entire. Um, condition. So I look at things like um, their living situation. Are they uh, um, homeowners? Are they tenants? Um, uh, do they have any outstanding debt? Is there anything that looks like it will lead to a possible debt situation in the near future? What I feel about the initiative is um, a lovely is a lovely program which I would encourage to be done by mo uh, Muslim organizations here in Nigeria and all over the world because it's going to encourage the upcoming or the young or the the the, the entrepreneurs the young entrepreneurs in, in Muslim because if we look at it some other religions are using this opportunity to like take our what's it called our our brothers and sisters in Islam if these are done it's going to encourage and it's going to promote people that even have no 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 means of sourcing for fund. Tahara Collective. Improving our world, developing ourselves.